This is the University of Central Florida's AIAA Design Build Fly team for the 2020-2021 competition. We are the Dark Knights and we are proud to present our submission, the Nightmobile. The design process to address this year's problem statement began with conducting a score sensitivity analysis with respect to key design parameters. The competition guidelines were used as boundary conditions to model a low fidelity theoretical optimum configuration. Design parameters were varied to determine scoring trends that would later guide detailed analysis. These included payload dimensions and weight, aircraft mass, wing planform area, and cruise conditions. From the scoring analysis, an inverse relationship between the Mission 2 and Mission 3 scores was observed according to the figure shown. The sum of the mission scores for each configuration was found, and it was seen that optimizing Mission 3 over Mission 2 would maximize total score. Improving Mission 3 score was also considered more realistic based on this analysis, as the number of shipping containers required for a high Mission 2 score would require a very large fuselage due to the minimum sensor size requirement. Using the configuration found in the previous analysis, further trade studies were conducted to develop a baseline aircraft for the team's iterative design approach. Testing data was then used to make design and sizing improvements toward a second aircraft. In designing the payload system, it was decided that the primary source of aerodynamic sensor stability should come from the deployment and recovery mechanism, rather than less reliable design parameters such as sensor geometry. A telescoping rod system was chosen to allow stable operation at the cost of increased drag. Based on research conducted on wing taper efficiency, an optimal taper ratio of 0.6 was chosen to minimize induced drag for the final design, but was omitted from the first two iterations of the aircraft in order to quickly produce a prototype for initial testing. Sensor parameters that maximize total mission score were then investigated. In order to accommodate the telescoping rod, the sensor length was fixed. Total score was considered as a function of total payload weight, cruise velocity, and number of shipping containers. This led to a chosen sensor weight of 1.4 pounds with three shipping containers flown in Mission 2. Computational analysis was then performed to determine drag values for the sensor, payload mechanism, and preliminary aircraft geometry. Using these values, thrust and power requirements were determined for the Mission 3 cruise conditions. These requirements served as boundary conditions in a model developed to determine a final motor, battery, and propeller for the system. From experimental testing and more detailed analysis, a final aircraft design was developed which had a simplified structural design that was stronger and lighter. The planned wing taper was added along with aerodynamic improvements to the aircraft tail. Key subsystems necessary for mission completion were also finalized. These design improvements led to an aircraft that not only reliably achieves all mission objectives but also maximizes the team's scoring opportunities, affording the team the utmost confidence in its design. The propulsion system chosen as a result of the prior trade study is shown. The system is powered by a 6-cell 2200 mAh LiPo battery. The control architecture shown describes a path from pilot input to aircraft response. The transmitter controls servos to change aileron, elevator, and rudder angles. It also signals the sensor microcontroller to turn the lights on or off, and signals the deployment mechanism servos to rotate the telescoping rod and deploy or recover the sensor. The final aircraft design was given a wingspan of 59 inches with a taper ratio of 0.66 and a planform area of 679 square inches. The total aircraft length is 46 inches. The horizontal stabilizer was placed 3.6 inches below the wing and has an area of 204 square inches. For the payload, the sensor has a diameter of 1.05 inches, a score of a length of 4.25 inches, and a total length of 5.5 inches. It is deployed at a distance of 43 inches from the fuselage exit location, meaning the minimum required distance of 42.5 inches for the sensor length. For verification and improvement of initial performance predictions, structural and aerodynamic analyses were conducted. Finite element analysis was performed on the aircraft to explore its structural integrity. One study, a static wingtip loading case, was performed on the Mission 2 configuration by simulating a lifting point at each wingtip per the competition rules. By analyzing material stress with respect to yield stress, likely failure points were discovered as shown and given further structural support. Computational fluid dynamic analysis was conducted to predict aircraft performance. A special focus was placed on Mission 3 due to the deployment mechanism, which was predicted to have a very high drag coefficient. A drag breakdown for the Mission 3 cruise condition is shown on the right. As predicted, a large percentage of the total drag force is attributed to the deployment mechanism and sensor body. The gross aircraft weight for each configuration is shown based on the given payload values, a 1.4 pound sensor, a 0.22 pound shipping container, and a 1.5 pound deployment and recovery mechanism. Based on testing data to date, the team's mission performance prediction is as shown. Mission 1 is completed within 85 seconds. Mission 2 is predicted to take 94 seconds, leading to a score of 1.16 when normalized against a theoretical optimal score. In Mission 3, 17 laps are flown, resulting in a normalized score of 2.81. The largest takeoff distance will occur for the Mission 2 configuration at 35 feet. The ground mission is estimated to take 256 seconds. <laughs>